Good morning. You join me on a very, very busy Saturday, but hopefully a very good Saturday. Um, before I kind of explain what's happening today, I thought I'd introduce myself to any kind of new subscribers to this YouTube channel or new followers on Instagram. Uh, my name is Jermaine Jones, also known as Jay. And on August the 19th, uh, Ben Swift and myself will be cycling around Australia to raise awareness for mental health. Now, part of this, uh, we've always said that we want to not just raise awareness for mental health, but actively make a difference within the community. Now today, uh, we're hosting our first mental health workshop with the legend that is Matt Grant. Now Matt Grant has this project called One Conversation, uh, and today we're going to be hosting a free workshop at CrossFit 168 Alexandria with Matt. Uh, so at the minute, I'm heading off to Watson's Bay to do an hour and a half of hill repeats and then I'll be heading to 168 Alexandria to let's kind of see how this workshop goes. I mean, like I said, I've never done this before. I'm really excited to meet new people. Uh, it's open to the general public and I'm interested to use the workshop for my own mental health as well. And then after the workshop, um, gonna try and do some zone one zone two endurance riding at Centennial Park now we've all heard of Centennial Park so yeah I'm gonna film all of today and kind of show you what's going on that car just cut straight in front of me I'm wearing bright red as well. Wow. So, I've just arrived at Watson's Bay. I uh, gave it a bit of an effort on the way here, full gas. I'm pretty tired, but ready to get into hill repeat. Now, uh, the way I'm gonna structure the hill repeat, absolutely no science involved with this. I'm not a coach. Um, but I'm just gonna try and do up and down efforts for one hour to one and a half hours uh, and fuel in between on the descent. My uh, goal is just to keep moving uh, and try not to stop and just fuel while moving up and down. I'm gonna try and rotate between uh, standing and seated heel climbs. Um, I just wanna try and work on both of those areas. So it's gonna focus on my breathing, uh, focus on my cadence, and try to enjoy it. So, as you can see, beautiful view. Uh, sun's just come up, it's a bit foggy today. And I'm just going down a hill to start my first hill climb. Let's go. On to my third repeat. I've got this weird love-hate relationship with climbs. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. Very peaceful. I don't know if you can see behind me. There's an old lady. Must be at least 70 years old. And I've seen her trot up and down these hills, this hill, as many times as me. Age is just a number. Very inspiring.
Now, if you watched my last video, you would have seen that I got a puncher and I didn't have any spares with me. Um, it's just happened again. Now, the reason why I don't have spares this time is because I haven't actually had time to go to the shop and buy some spares. So, as you can see, I've got a puncher again, which is great. Um, I'm not that far away from home though, so I'm not that far away from a shop. So, I've done 15 Ks um, and about four repeats. And then I've got my puncher, so sadly, I have to cut this session short again. Um, hopefully I can get things changed, get replaced and then make up for it in this afternoon's uh, session, the zone one session. But it was still good to get out and do a few repeats. Uh, 45 minutes on a bike is not really what I, want, what I wanted. Obviously I was aiming for an hour to an hour and a half. Very embarrassing. Going to cycle around Australia in about three months. And I'm still forgetting to bring in the tubes. $47 for an Uber home. Uh, I think I can get a few inner tubes for that price, so yeah, I need to learn from that mistake. Just in the Uber. Uber driver has just told me this is his second pickup today of somebody with a puncture. <laughs> but very uh, grateful for picking me up today, mate. You're very welcome, I <laughs> My pleasure. So, on the way home. Camping barbecue for today's food at the end of the uh, workshop. Very rushed today. I wasn't lying to you when I said it's going to be a very busy day. So, showered, I'm ready. The van is loaded up with my bike, uh, our signs for the event. You see all these cool videos out there where it's life of a pro cyclist and what, what goes on with all the, you know, in their life and their promo, their training. Well, this video and I guess this channel and this Instagram page is about the life of an amateur cyclist. We are definitely not professionals, although we do have some sponsors and stuff like that helping us out. We are very much amateur cyclists, trying to fake it until we make it. So as you can see in the van now, uh, rushing round to try and get some spares to fit in between the time of having a full-time job trying to train anything from 50 to 20 hours a week on the bike also trying to hold down a relationship which is uh, difficult but I have a very understanding girlfriend and also just trying to keep up here um, healthy you know, the mental health is very very important so yeah on my way to uh, 99 bikes to hopefully get some inner tubes, change this inner tube on my bike so I can train this afternoon and then hopefully get to this workshop to meet Ben, uh, also Matt and the rest of the, the people that are going to be attending today's workshop. So if you're one of my OG subscribers uh, you'll know from one of the first videos I put up this is actually the place where I picked up uh, the first bike which was the Merida 400 uh, aluminium bike and obviously now we've got a sponsor for a carbon bike from China with Yolio 
Um, but this was the original place where um, Ben and myself sort of came in, picked up my bike and also got a lot of tips. Uh, it's good being back here nearly a year later after all the kind of training and hard work. But yeah. Bike has now been repaired. I've got a couple of spare inner tubes. They're not 100% the correct size. The 60 mil valve, when it should really be an 80 mil valve because I've got 50 mil uh, carbon wheels. I'm gonna have to find some of them on the internet because for some reason they are so hard to find in Sydney at the minute. The 28 by uh, 80 mil uh, valve. But anyway. I'm on my way to meet uh, Ben and Matt for a little bit of breakfast. So, like I said, on my way to grab some breakfast, meet the boys, and then get into this workshop. Okay, so after a little bit of stress setting up, uh, we're all set up and ready to go. Matt's currently in the zone doing his thing. Um, Ben's kind of working on the computer in the background to, for the slideshow. Uh, and I've just set up the drinks, barbecue and chairs, ready to go. So here's Matt in his absolute element. Uh, we've also got some videographers today, and a uh, photographer making some content. Because content is king, it's always important to share the story, what we're doing. Uh, it makes our audience slightly bigger and also will help us raise even more money for our chosen charity, Mindful Oz. So this is what I'm talking about, we want to do trying to help within the community um, and really raise awareness for mental health and try and give people the tools to um, work with the mental health uh, illnesses or mental health. So. I don't actually think I did a kind of finale video of the event. Uh, I'm just arrived at Centennial Park, about to get changed, new boomerang loop shirt. So the workshop went really, really well. Um, it wasn't the, the numbers that were sold online, but who cares? Uh, we were happy if even one person turned up. Um, Matt was in the zone. I learned a lot from his workshop and Today was a success. Um, it was good to kind of hang out with Matt and see Matt in his in his element, what he does. Uh, this is something that he wants to do full time uh, for the future and I wish him all the best. This is a start of not only a friendship, but a partnership. I would love to continue to be involved with workshops um, because it, it just makes a huge difference. Uh, and I think we need more of this. We need more of people just talking about this subject um, and kind of removing the stigma. Thank you again um, for watching. I'm going to go into Centennial Park and start my loops of Centennial Park training, doing zone one, zone two. Um, but this is a little bit different video than my usual ones, showing you what's going on in our lives at the minute. It's it's a bit crazy. Um, I'm loving every every minute of it. Now I couldn't end the video without a little bit of cycling content. So here I'm at Centennial Park, uh, going through zone one and two training.
of its sort of busy schedule. Uh, everything's going to get even busier now as the publicity around the boomerang loot or the cycle around Australia project gets bigger. Um, but I'm happy if we can get the publicity this project really deserves. Uh, better myself, I put a lot of hard work into it, so we want to raise as much money as possible and make a difference. Uh, Time to get back into this training session. I'll try and film a little bit of this beautiful sunset. And then I'm gonna eat my weight in carbs. Thank you all for the support, the comments, the subscriptions, the likes, the follows. On Thursday, we have our fundraising event and our film premiere as well, which is a huge, um, thing that we've been working on over the last four months so yeah big week ahead and big training just about to start <laughs> 